It is finally here, guys. We finally have a, a new exhaust for the bike. And I went with the Kelpie uh, custom motor exhaust. It is the shorty um, black Cerakoted. Man, oh man, this thing looks like a friggin' RPG, man. Or like a flashlight. The baffles in there. So people are saying, is it really that loud? Should I keep the baffle in it or should I keep it out? Do I want to be a hooligan or do I want to be less of a hooligan but still a hooligan, you know? It's really not that bad. Everybody makes it seem like it's like... <laughs> All right, so we're going to figure it out, try to put this on. Um, it should be kind of straightforward. I know you take part this there's like a middle bolt right here somewhere that they say it's pretty it's got a little little tough to get to um but for the most part i think they said it comes out pretty nicely it might take like a couple few hours or so but guys i know i said i wouldn't get a new thing but this time i would be less distracted does this thing work? <laughs> this is my first time trying to put it on and y'all are experiencing this with me as well. Do I have to like... Is that centered? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so I got the MacBook up and running. Uh, got got to go find like a video to like, you know, compare it to, get some notes. I mean, they sent instructions too, so I'm gonna get the tools that I need, show you what I need, and then I'll come back right back. All right, guys, so that took me like an hour. <laughs> no, nah, I'm playing. I got hungry. I was just like, I need some pizza. So it took me like a while, actually, after the pizza. Take this bolt out, 10, 10 millimeter bolt. This is the uh, the bolt. Let me see if I can show you. Hold on. Can you guys see the mount? I don't know if you guys can, but is my hand blocking it? It was right here, and I needed like a like a socket, like no, a ball joint socket. You know, one of those that you can maneuver around. I was trying to do this, but couldn't really reach it, so I just had to use. Uh, a wrench and that took a while so that really loosens up the um, what you call it the radiator right and then what you want to do also is loosen up these upper mounts as well you know a little bit more play to take out the exhaust and yeah so just 
take these out. This might take a little longer than I expected just because I am so limited in tools. Like the selection that my dad has, we have nothing. And what I have in the car is nothing as well. Oh, by the way, damn. I was driving home and uh, I was like, why is my car smoking up more than everybody's? Yeah, upper hose busted off, started spewing coolant everywhere. I thought my turbo was like gone or something, but yeah. She's down and I'm back with the old bitch. I was driving the vet for two days at work. Man, so I filled up half tank just two days and it already took all the gas. Like what the heck? Just guzzled all of it away. Right Odin? Okay, so we're gonna take these off and then finally hit the 12 meter bolt 12 millimeter bolts on the the headers and then uh take the this off then you just wiggle it out it should come right up alrighty all right we finally got it all bolts are off now let's take out these <coughs> bolts on this side So the first one is gonna be this, cause it's right here. Then most likely this one right here. Exhaust guys, so pretty clean. Take that shit off. All righty. All right. Now I don't know how to set this up. What go? What what pipe goes where and what you know. But it should be uh, kind of straightforward. Which one fell out? Like a little bit. I don't know, maybe. I think it's 
Call me. Ball, huh? Huh? Call me you. Where is that other one? Did it fall out? Yeah, that should be four, right? Three. Why three? What do you mean? This is three cylinder, Dad. Oh, really? <laughs> Where's the third one? Third one of them all is stuck in, in there. Or it fell out. Or it's stuck on, on the old one. No, I just checked. All right, now I'm trying to figure out the orientation of this. Uh, so the springs just follow the springs. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna figure it out. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. Obviously, this connects to here. You have the two springs there. Uh, <clears throat> oh, then can you back up, bro? I'm making a video. Man. <laughs> <clears throat> so, if you got the spring holders right here, does this kind of get in the way of it? Or should I put the middle one first? Uh, I mean, let's connect. Just uh, these rings, right? All right, so I'm fucking pissed right now. So this, sir, just this one pipe right here, it's so fucking like difficult to get in when the other ones just slide in so perfectly, and you can just. So I, I had to like reposition each time to like make it fit. <sighs> All right, I finally have it even. Let's hope it goes in. If not, I'm gonna be really pissed because I'm already pissed. I don't know what the hell is wrong with this, but my problem is now it's this. It's not a like a flush with the engine, and it's I don't. And I know, oh my God, it's all because of the alignment of this shit. Oh, then wait, the car is moving. All right, guys, I don't really have it on fully. It took me the whole day for some reason because I was trying to get a perfect, it, something wrong with the pipes where it just wouldn't align correctly. Like anything, I would take it out, reposition. I did it like five times, but let's see how it kind of sounds like. Let's hope there's no leaks. So it's the next day, <clears throat> the exhaust is not really finished. Um, I mean, it's finished. I put everything together. It's just like some things I haven't done, like this clamp uh, and also the radiator um, bolt, the mount, the mount, the mounting bolt. Uh, I can't talk. The mounting bolt from the radiator to the engine. 
uh, that's really it. That's like not connected left. Everything is fine. O2 sensors in. They said it's a zip tie, but it's already like at its extended, you know, flex or um, it's pulling at its max right now. So there's no uh, there's no wiggle room. Uh, I am a little iffy about it just because. Where's my phone? Let me get some light. <clears throat> so, let's see if you can see it. Yeah, I don't know if are the headers in. I had trouble with aligning everything. As you can see, it's all scratched up. <laughs> this is why they say to bring it to a professional. But I mean, the headers look like they are in. Let me do a, another sound test for you guys, like an actual cold start. Cold, cold start. But let me flip the mic to the front mic instead. All right, this might scare some people, but it literally sounds like a gunshot sometimes when you first start it. Gonna smell funky for the first couple startups. 
just because it's a new exhaust and but I'm gonna keep watch because it is idling a little weird. Maybe it's just just need to ride it. Uh, I got the stabilizer on new. I got the pro one instead. Cost like hella money. <laughs> yes, sir. Finally, a new exhaust from Kelpie Custom Moto. The install wasn't too bad. Um, it's pretty straightforward. It's just annoying just getting everything like perfectly fit because it comes in like multiple pieces rather than one whole or like two whole pieces. <clears throat> getting the headers like uh, straight and aligned was the most difficult part. <clears throat> I had trouble just aligning it to the engine because it would always like two sides would go in but then one side wouldn't and then I finally like just turned it a certain way like, like a little bit to the right each pipe and uh, it finally I'm not like this is what I hate I'm not 100% sure I'm like 98% with it that's why I'm a little scared but we shall see. We shall see. And we shall see if I want to take out the baffle as well. Maybe one day I'll experiment and I'll take it out. But for now, it's pretty loud as it is. And uh, just keep it that way. Alright guys, hope y'all enjoyed this. More bike videos to come. And I will be riding with a new exhaust now. Hopefully it shows through my mic a lot better. This bike is phenomenal. <laughs>